Hey everyone, CPO here, and in this video, I will be doing an installation of a pair of rear upper adjustable control arms from 034 Motorsport. And uh, I'm just gonna go through my process. The first thing I'm doing is marking the eccentric washer, uh, which is basically a cam adjustment for camber on the rear of the, at least my car, a 2019 Golf R. And then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and loosen that up. And you can see my path with a couple of extensions and a swivel, I'm able to get to that uh, nut pretty easily. And I think that was the easiest way for me to get to it where I had plenty of room to work. I've seen people trying to work inside of that area and you don't have a lot of room, but if you can get some extensions and then get up underneath, uh, actually on top of that cross member, uh, it actually works out fairly well. So now I'm going to go ahead and unclip the brake assembly. And what we're doing is removing the factory control arm. So impact gun to the rescue on this, and you've got this square washer, uh, another nut, and I can finish removing the entire control arm assembly by popping out that adjustable cam uh, bolt, which is where the washer clips into. So yeah, there's the factory guy, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other side and I am gonna change things up a little bit from what the instructions talk about. So I just wanna make sure uh, that I prep you for that. But for the most part, the install went easy peasy, lemon squeezy, like no issues. So the strategy for installing these is because it's adjustable for camber, but you have to disassemble the entire thing to make the adjustment. What I found is I use the adjustable control arms to get the camber close and then use the factory eccentric uh, cam adjustment to fine tune it. So make sure you keep track of these and which side goes to which side, otherwise putting marks on them doesn't really help. Uh, so keep track of left and right or make the marks different so that you know. Uh, here's the actual kit, what comes with the control arms you have these bushings with jam nuts. It does come with some anti-seize, so go ahead and put that on there, run that jam nut down and get that all nice and spread around. That will keep the bushing from like seizing up inside the control arm. So there is this brake cable bracket. This is one of the things I changed up and you will see this later on in the video. I ended up ditching these because they didn't really work out well for my car and I'll show you why, but just know that that's what that's for and I ended up not using them. So what I am doing now is lining up the, uh, the control arm bushings between the factory and the new one to get them pretty close in size so I have a starting point. Essentially what I'm doing is putting it back into a stock configuration first and then I'll make camber adjustments after that. This is what the assembly looks like once you have it all ready to go into the vehicle. All right, I'm gonna slip this in and you'll see video from both sides uh, as it made sense or something I wanted to point out. Putting in the factory uh, eccentric bolts. So I will say the service manual has you replacing this nut, not the bolt in the washer, but the nut uh, after removal. So take that for what it's worth, basically one time use. What I will also say is don't bother torquing anything down until you've got all of your adjustments exactly where you want them. So get them snug down, but don't torque. Now you have the spacers that you need to slip in there. I also have a washer, which you might see in here. Another thing to note is this hardware is also one time use. Both the, the bolt and the nut should be one time use. Again, save yourself from some grief by don't try and torque it down until you've got everything where you want it. All right, and you can see here my brake cables, the way they are run in the car did not really play nice with these brake cable brackets that came with the kit. So I ended up just ditching them and I zip tied the brake cable right to the bushing uh, rod. So I'll show you that here in a second. So I went back through, removed both the brake cable brackets and you won't see those moving forward, but they may work fine for your vehicle. They just didn't work for mine. All right, so now what I'm doing is I'm putting on the, uh, the wheel and tire and doing some camber uh, checks. I'm doing basically an alignment check. I wanna get the alignment where it's pretty close, like I said, because there's no way to adjust that upper control arm without 
removing it from the wheel bearing housing. So yeah, it's kind of a pain in the butt. I wish there was an easier way to adjust it, kind of like a tie rod adjustment where you can just undo a lock nut and then spin it. That's not how it is. So uh, I'm shooting for one degree less of camber in the rear than the front, which puts me about two degrees. So I'm just doing some checks here and I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail about doing uh, alignments or how to get that right, but that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to get it pretty close to two, but, and I'm talking negative two here, by the way. And then once I have it close, I'll go back down and use that eccentric washer for the actual final alignment. Once I have everything done, then I can go ahead and button everything up. And yeah, it was kind of tedious getting that adjustment done. Once you get one side done, you can then match the other side and be reasonably close, of course. And again, these are one time use. You're supposed to torque them down and then they have a rotation of 180 degrees. So I usually put a little mark with my paint pen and then watch that mark rotate from top to bottom or bottom to top or you know left to right, however I have it set up. Then you need to make sure you tighten down that jam nut. And I'm just using an adjustable wrench here to get that tightened down nice and tight. And then like I said, because I'm not using the brake cable bracket, I'm just using a zip tie to zip tie that whole setup there right to the control arm itself and it worked out great and it holds fine. So yeah, I don't know if my vehicle is that much different from everybody else's, but that's what I ran into. Then you can go ahead and torque down the uh, eccentric nuts after you get your final alignment done. And you wanna do that with the vehicle in its rested position, not with the tires dropped. So again, alignment's a different video, but yeah, but that's it. That's the install of the rear upper adjustable control arms from 034 Motorsport. Hope you found something in there that might be useful for you if you're trying to tackle this or just curious what all is involved. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.